the devoted wife of Conservative MP Owen Paterson was found dead in remote woodland after googling suicide methods on the internet, an inquest heard. Rose Paterson, 63, was found near her large detached home in Ellesmere, Shropshire, after family members became concerned she was missing. An inquest heard today how the entry race course chairman looked up ways to take her own life online on three occasions before she committed suicide on June the 24th. Shropshire Coroner's Court heard the mum of three's body was found by a police officer conducting searches of the land near their sprawling home near Wrexham. Mr. Paterson told an inquest by video link when he was shown her body at around 6 a.m. on the day of his birthday it was evident she had taken her own life. John Ellery, senior coroner for Shropshire, Telford and Rekin, concluded her cause of death a suicide by hanging. He said, I am satisfied Rose Paterson did take her own life and that she intended to do so. Although she left no note or gave no indication of what she intended to do she hanged herself in a remote woodland area. Her internet searches between May 27 and June 23 indicate an intention in relation to suicide. On the basis I am satisfied that Mrs. Paterson did take her own life I don't need to investigate the reason why. I record a conclusion of suicide and that she died on June the 24th, 2020. The Tory MP and his family attended the hearing remotely and the coroner read out their statements to the court. Asked if he wished to comment further, Mr. Paterson said, It is tragic and I ask the press to respect the privacy of the family at this terrible time. Close quote, he said in a statement after the verdict. The coroner's verdict confirming that my wife Rose committed suicide by hanging is absolutely tragic for me, our family and all who knew her. We were married for 40 very happy years. Rose will be remembered as a devoted, loving wife, mother and grandmother, as well as a most successful professional in her varied careers in the arts, charity and racing. We are still a long way from beginning to come to terms with her death. In a statement, read out by the coroner, Mr. Paterson said he had no idea that his wife was intending to take her own life. He said, I am the Member of Parliament for North Shropshire and the husband of the late Rose Emily Paterson. Rose was born on August 13, 1959, and was the second daughter of the fourth Viscount of Ridley. We married on June 22, 1980 and had three children. Rose's passions were horses, racing, and riding. She was appointed chairwoman of Aintree Race Course in 2009, and was appointed a director in 2014. We spent lockdown together in Shropshire and I returned to London in June. I returned home on Friday, June the 19th, and spent the weekend with Rose then went back to London on June the 22nd. Rose had a number of plans for the next following days. She would be having a remote call and was due to come to London to celebrate my birthday. On June the 25th, she had a TGV train ticket to France to see our daughter. She was not suffering from depression, and she was not taking medication. When I am in London we usually speak twice a day, in the morning and evening. On June the 24th I rang Rose at 9am, 10am and 7pm. At 10 p.m. I sent her a text message asking her to ring me. My son was at home and was concerned he hadn't seen Rose all day. 
It was unusual for her not to return home in the evening. We were concerned she had had a heart attack and we could reach her. Probably between 6 a.m. and 7 a.m. the police found her and I asked to see her. Her clothes were in good order and there was no bruising on damage to her face. I had no indication Rose had been thinking of taking her own life. The inquest heard Mrs. Paterson's son Edward was the last person to see his mother alive on June the 23rd. In a statement, read out by Mr. Ellery, he said, at around 8 p.m. to 9.30 p.m. we had dinner together. She talked about going to France to see my sister. We must have washed up then I went back upstairs to carry on working. At around 10.30 p.m. I found her asleep and said you were tired, go to bed. I kissed her on the cheek. It was quite lovely, and I went to bed. Her other son Felix discovered three searches in relation to suicide methods after logging onto her laptop the day after her death. Family friend, Louise Lane, who said she knew Mrs. Paterson for about 30 years, told the court she had been acting out of character before her death. She said, she was a very happy-go-lucky person, down to earth and we talked about everything and anything. She was just a lovely person. She was acting out character shortly before her death. The last time she I saw her, she hadn't put her horses out and also didn't acknowledge me when I saw her. Close quote. At the time of her death, neighbors described the racing executive as a huge horse enthusiast and a lovely lady who would always greet everyone with a welcoming smile. Grand to Rachel Mottram, 65, a local farmer said, It is so sad, such a shock. She was a lovely lady. I don't have quite the right word, she was a true lady. It is so sad for everyone on the district. She used to regularly ride past the farm on her horse, and there was always a smile and a greeting. She was a huge horse enthusiast. A close friend, who wouldn't give her name, said, We are still in shock. She was wonderful. She was a wonderful person with such a welcoming smile. Recording a conclusion of suicide, the coroner added, Police are satisfied there were no suspicious circumstances. He added, Dr. Boyle examined Mrs. Paterson's medical records and nothing was relevant other than that the deceased had a previous history of anxiety and depression. Close quote.